All right, tubes. Something a little different here today because uh, I'm still convalescing here. I only got one arm, so uh, I'll do the best I can. But uh, I had this up on a shelf for, Christ, at least 10 years because that's how long I've had that little lathe. But everybody's always uh, saying, you know, you move that switch on my lathe and stuff like that. But this is actually a, a Bakelite switch, you know, forward, neutral, and reverse. And this is what actually belongs to it. So it's Bakelite. I know that machine's only about a 75, but uh, pretty well made. But anyway, we're going to try to hook the, the lathe up to that and put that switch in a conspicuous place where it ain't going to hurt nobody. I've got my meter out here. And also, I'm a head mechanic. How you doing? There you go. Electrician today. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I, I was going to say that, and uh, ah. I wasn't thinking, buddy. So, uh, All right, you know what? I think... I had to, I did take this apart, Mike, because I heard some rattling in there. Some jingling in there. And so I, I took it apart at one time, and it also has instructions. So. Oh yeah. Okay. You know, because there are five wires, and God only knows where they go. Well, it says it's good for a one horse motor, one ten to five fifty volt AC. So, that's uh, or what do you got here? Or a quarter horsepower. Hmm. One fifteen to two thirty volt DC. So. Single or three phase. I have to rock it back and forth so to I can read, read it. the plate there. Yeah. I was surprised they got that so, much information on yeah. it. Yeah, well, it's nice. So, I mean, printed, this yeah. is probably pretty old because they haven't used, um, you know, 110 for mm -hmm. uh, AC voltage measurement since uh, the 60s or so. Yeah. So, this is this has some, some age to it, or even perhaps even older than that. I don't know. I'm just speculating. But well, it's even a really the, nice, built, really well built switch. Really even, nice. even though the lathe is from 75. That's not saying that the switch hasn't been around for years. You yeah. Know? Yep. And it is that so. is original to that machine. I mean, they, oh, I, yeah. I've seen them. Yeah, they they mounted up on top of the the, yeah. the the big block over there. But I'm gonna put this under the yeah. the leg. Made by Furnace, so it's a it's a well built. Good name. Yeah, yeah. Well built switch. Oh, I got all kinds of goodies in there. Hmm. Another uh, another connector. Parts of another connector there. Documentation. Yeah. The screws for it. What do you got? Instructions. Here? You get a dozen different motors. Well, let's take a look. What do we got in here? Some screws. I think there's two little screws. Uh, looks like terminal screws. Probably those two that are missing in there. And then. Ah, oh, okay. This looks pretty comprehensive. To you? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I think it was it was Greek to me, but. Okay. So here's all your DC connections, shunt, series, and compound. So that's your your field connections, and AC single and three phase, uh, one horse, 120 to 600 volt motors, condenser motor. So that would be like a capacitor start motor, a three phase, Y connected motor. Propulsion induction motor, condenser hmm. motor with six leads, split phase motor. That's what I think. That's what you have over there. Propulsion induction three, uh, three lead, capacitor six leads two forty volt. Okay. Just on and off. <clears throat> well, hopefully that that motor is good. And yeah. if not, we just, we'll find when it works. Yeah. This is a connection internal connection bottom view. So forward A is connected to one and two. B to 3 and 4, and reverse A is connected to 1 and 4, and reverse B, 3 and 2. Okay, well, that'll help us. Um, we're going to have to pull your motor off the machine. I think what we should do is pull that motor off and bring it over to the bench here, so uh, so we're not trying to right, reach over the machine and right. work on it. So we can connect it up here temporarily, do some testing. I think you have a split phase motor here. But I don't think I don't think the start windings are brought out to the terminal box. Um, mm -hmm. But we'll double check that. Okay. So let's let's uh, let's get that motor off. Of that. Yeah, let's get that motor off and do some probing around in there. Okay. All right. I'm over here at the machine, and when, when I do see these on the internet, and there aren't very many of these machines, they were or like on uh, Craigslist or something. They always have the, the switch mounted up top right here. But uh, we like this little surface because, uh, like Mike always says, any flat surface is a table. 
and we like to put our tools up here stuff like that in our our gauges so what I'm gonna do we're gonna we're gonna hook it up down there on that cast iron leg so here's the motor we'll have to take that off so we'll see you back over at the bench all right here we go what's it look like buddy well there's your internal connections to the motor there's L1 and L2 so those are the lines and typically you have to reverse two leads so it looks like there's two and four there and then there's one there let's see what it let's see Western what it says house. yeah hmm. uh clock counterclockwise rotation red and black on four and two for clockwise interchange red and black so we just flip them around so red and black so it'll four work and two. It? well uh, we kind of have to figure that out real quick it looks like Black is connected to one of the lines. Um, red, I'm not sure that quite how that's connected yet. You've got a speed switch in there. We might have to take the end bell off here and just verify all the connections so we don't blow the motor up. Mm -hmm. um, they're also running it through a thermal overload here as well, so we uh, we can double check that. Like I said, this... What do you think I was off of, a washing machine or something? Um, probably anything. It was probably just bought from Granger or something to mm -hmm. go on a blower or something. Yeah. Is that a quarter horsepower or something? Probably a third. Yeah, a third. You're right. Yeah. It's, I, it's I a universal motor, you know. They they weren't, this motor probably wasn't built for anything in particular. No. It's just a third horse motor with a half inch shaft on it and you do what you want with it. Right. You know? Yeah, the reason I, ch I chose that was because it had the shaft to hold our pulley. Yeah. And it was, I think it was 1750 RPM. It's probably not all that old. It's probably from the 80s or 70s, you know. It's right. probably not all that old. So. Okay. All Continue right. Continue on, buddy. Let me get out of your way. Okay. There you go. just heard a car door. I think it might be Road Queen. Yeah. Yeah. Pull these off of here. You know, if I did that, it would never go back together. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Can't go too crazy because we have all the terminal leads still connected. We're probably just going to have to disconnect a few of them. Hmm. I think that they're just running that black, that L1, through that this thermal switch over here, which we might not even have to pull it off all the way. Oh, you just gotta see. Yeah, because the two blue wires look like they come... You can see the one comes off of L1 and a black. Black comes over in this direction. And let me grab a flashlight out of my pocket, which I don't have. Where in the heck is hmm. Oh, well. Here you go. So, you got a light there? Let me just see where. Yeah, it looks like black. Black comes to one side of the thermal switch, and it goes back over in a blue wire. Comes out of the thermal switch as a blue. Probably comes back over here. Goes to this little junction terminal, which that's probably just a plastic cap there. So that junction terminal connects to red, and then goes into the motor. So that would be your your uh, main winding there through the thermal switch and then blue or sorry black this black and this red are being is the start winding which is switched by the centrifugal switch in here so we will um, what we're going to do is bring the red and black out and have it connected to the switch so line like the 120 volt line is going to go to the two terminals of the switch, then two wires will go to the main posts here, L1 and L2, and then the two other wires will go to the red and the black here. The red and the black won't terminate on this board any longer. They'll get connected directly to the wires from the switch. Okay. So I still think, I still would like to pull this uh, end bell off completely and verify what I'm saying. Okay. So, I don't know if you can see. Yeah, you got to be careful because you have a little delicate Very thin, yeah. wire right here, which a little enameled wire, which I, I shouldn't even be using a screwdriver right. to move it. But okay. 
I just fish that over out of the way. All right, well, let me turn the camera off. Nobody likes to be playing with delicate stuff while they're on camera. Yeah. Come here. Yeah, I turned this back on because we found a factory defect here. Well, it could be a factory defect. It's kind of interesting. This this little piece of enameled wire here um, was was kind of wrapped around like this this edge right here. Uh -huh. Went around here and through that little gap and back out. And yeah. I kind of had to fish it through that gap to pull this this end bell off, nice and easy like this. So I mm -hmm. I think we're just gonna. It, it almost looks like it, it's supposed to be folded up and you know and tucked in. Yeah, tucked I've, in. I've never seen enameled wires away from the windings. Yeah, like that. they shouldn't be. They should be yeah. terminated and then brought out in these insulated wires here. So mm -hmm. it's strange. Oh, well. It worked. So, what we it got passed, it passed the factory yeah. inspection. Yeah. So there's our four wires right there. Two of these will be the start. Two of them will be the run winding. So this is a centrifugal switch right here. Well, the contacts for the centrifugal switch right here. Mm -hmm. That's good. We can clean them all while we get apart. And then this is the actual, you know, Clutch. centrifugal switch. Yeah. yeah. Huh. It's like a little, almost like works like a governor. So it's got flyweights. Thing gets up to speed, pops in, and lets the uh, start start winding open up there. Huh. So that's all. All right. Continue on, buddy. All right. All right. I think Mike got uh, everything hooked up here. And uh, you ready for a smoke test, Mike? Oh, yeah. Let's do it. All right. So. You know what? Uh, put a piece of tape on here so I can tell which direction that's going. Because. Uh, where's the tape? Uh, you stole it. Here we go. Yeah. Sorry about that. I try not to do that, but uh, it happens. It happens. How's that? Can you see that? I can see that. I can see that, buddy. All right. So forward, let me look at the lathe here. Forward should be that direction right okay. there. So you're looking mm. at it, it should be clock clockwise looking at mm -hmm. this end. So you know on film it might not you might not be able to tell because you know what happens when a when a wheel goes a certain speed. Oh yeah, the strobe effect. Right, 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 exactly. Yeah. Well they'll be able to see it when it slows down, I think. Right, right. So or if, starts. If you get close to it, just watch because these Expo these terminals are going to be live right here. They're just kind of floating in the air. Mm -hmm. So when it's running, don't get anywhere near that. Right, no, I'm going to stay so. back here. All right. So All right. Let's switch <coughs> forward. <laughs> I, I, I couldn't see a you thing. You can't even see it. I couldn't see a thing. Uh, let me shut it down. So All it looks right. like it's going in the correct direction. Okay, there goes a the clutch. Yeah. Okay, yeah. You, you can see it when it stops, which direction it's going. Okay, now reverse should be counterclockwise. Oh, it's going already. I was, I was looking at you, so it doesn't no. matter. Okay. All right, shut her down. All right, that should be going the other direction now. Okay, yeah. it's working, man. Easy as that. Huh. Right, why, why didn't we do this six years ago? Oh, uh, yay, yay. You keep hiding these things. We I know. found it. We've been looking it, it for it for on, six years. It was on the shelf, yeah. Uh, All right, now, uh, I guess next thing we do is... Uh, well, we'll button it up right and make yeah. it look nice. And right now, right now we only got temporary terminals on it and stuff like that just to see if it could have worked. Yep. So we All right. have to do it for real. I think, uh, I think our dinner's on its way, so uh, oh, man. we'll have that and, uh, and then we'll uh, hook us all back up. All right. All right. All right. Oh, I hear something. Look at this racket. Oh, sandwiches. <clears throat> Pizza's here. Oh, Looks man. like sandwiches tonight, buddy. All right, wrap that up, Mike. We're going to eat first. All right. Now let's go over and see how our buddy Mike is doing. How are you making out, buddy? Oh, I'm just uh, reassembling the chip guard here. Oh, you got everything all uh, all hooked up and everything? Yeah, the switch is mounted down here. Let me squeeze by. Oh, yeah. Huh. I like that. Mike, you tucked it in. Excuse the camera work again, because I'm working uh, handicapped here. I don't know if you can see that little red handle, but it's down there next to the leg, so... You're not going to hit that unless you're trying to. Yeah. He's got the wire going up the back. Pops to the plug the here. Yeah. Is there? It's all. It's all plugged in, huh, buddy? It is. The motor's not folded down or anything. Turn on. Let's see. All right. Well, let's. Uh, oh, look at that. Let it spool down a little bit. And. Huh. Very so, good. So. Like I said, you, you can't. When it's at speed. If you just throw the switch to reverse, it won't actually reverse, right? Uh, because the start winding isn't in circuit, so you gotta you gotta let it spool down until you hear the centrifugal switch close, and then you can you can bang it into reverse. All right. Yeah. Well, so, me and you are probably the only ones gonna be using this. Oh yeah, it's not gonna be a problem. Maybe Daddy dirt bike once in a while, and maybe the kid. So it's just a, I, I I learned that not on this motor, but on a different motor. It was kind of funny. I was 
uh, one of my coworkers was using an oil pump that has the same type of motor and I have a Ford reverse switch on it and he was pumping oil uh, into an engine and I forget what he was doing but he threw the switch to reverse by accident and it pumped it back out of the <laughs> engine and, in, and overflowed a five gallon bucket and there was oil everywhere. Oh, so that's it's the hard it. way to learn. Yeah, but you learn the hard way. You don't I will. All right, yeah, looking good. We're just about ready to bolt that down and uh, put the belts on and we're good to go. Yeah. All right, good work, buddy. All right, I think Mike's all done over here. Well, you, got, you got something chucked up. Oh yeah, we're gonna do some mating. What's up, Chuck? All right, so you got your forward. Oh, who cut that? <laughs> and off, you can go unforward. Or reverse, huh. some of the people call it. Oh, no, yeah, you can't even see the switch down there. No, no, it's, it's pretty well out of, out of the way. You know? mm -hmm. if, if you're sitting here, like we usually, since the car is here, we usually sit right. at a bit of an angle. You can just reach down and give it a, give it a whack. Yeah. Stop it, and this yeah. way. Yeah. There'd be a lot, of, a lot of stuff we can do with that now. Yeah, it's, it's you know. Mm. You don't do too many operations in reverse, but, uh, nah. you know, there are times where it's useful. Yeah, you know, with this, with these small lathes, it's tough to cut anything off using the cutoff tool. Mm -hmm. So a lot of guys do is they'll they'll put it in reverse and cut it in reverse, and it it's a little more stable. So. Pulling up on the tool post instead yeah, of pushing down. instead of pushing down on it. So, yeah. oh well. Well, there you go. That way, yeah, uh, you guys, uh, you won't have to comment anymore about my sleeves. No reaching over here. Yeah. Anymore. So me and Mike won't have to reach over the machine anymore. So. Mm -hmm. All right. Good job, buddy. I appreciate that. No worries. Safety third, right? That's it. Factor in here. It is, it is. Once in a while. Alright, uh, what do you say? Enough of this? Enough of this. Alright.